Good day, everybody. This is Chris back again with the Ancient Scholar. And in this vignette, I'm going to be talking about some of the major bones of the skull. The skull is uh, one of the major components of the axile or the axle um, skeletal system. So we'll go ahead and talk about the major bones that you're going to need to uh, know for uh, anatomy and physiology. Um, so we'll, ta we'll talk about the, the cranium first, the cranial vault. Um, major bones there, this bone right up front here is called the frontal bone. Okay, so that's pretty easy. Um, and then the frontal bone, there's a joint that connects the frontal bone. And this is, of course, an immovable joint. It's a dense, fibrous, connective tissue that then um, kind of welds it to the other bones. Okay, and this, of course, is known as a suture. And this is the coronal suture right here. Okay, you have the frontal. And then behind, Okay, just inferior, or uh, just uh, posterior rather, to the frontal bone. Okay, you've got your coronal suture, you've got this bone here, and this is the parietal bone. And I just think of patting somebody on the head. That's the parietal bone there. Now, um, underneath the parietal bone here, I have another suture. This is called the squamous suture. <clears throat> and underneath the squamous suture is another major bone. Um, and this is known as the temporal bone. So I've got the frontal, the parietal, I've got the temporal. You can see that I also have a squamous suture, the temporal bone here as well. All right, and just think the temple being by your temple there. Okay, so frontal, parietal, temporal bone. And then back here, okay, this bone here is known as the occipital bone, right back here. Okay, you've got your parietal bone here, your occipital bone here. Okay, so those are your major skull bones. Let's talk about some of the other bones that we run into. You also have a bone that's near your temporal bone, okay, um, but it's, it's a bone all of itself. It's your regular bone. It's called the sphenoid bone, and you can see one of the wings of that sphenoid bone here, and that sphenoid bone actually um, communicates. Um, it actually uh, takes up some other uh, space within the skull. You just can't see it very well. So you've got sphenoid here, and then you can also appreciate it here as well. So it's right next to the temporal bone, okay? So those are your major bones of the skull. Um, let's talk about the face here. Um, of course, I've got the mandible here, which is the lower bone, the maxilla, which is this bone here. Okay, I have a bone that comes off of that called the zygoma or zygomatic bone. Okay, and then associated with that is this little extension of the zygomatic bone that extends out here. Okay, so it, it kind of extends back this way toward the ear, and this is called the zygomatic process. Okay, so zygoma, zygomatic process there. Okay, some other uh, bones, of course, the nasal bone right here. You've got your nasal bone. Um, and then deeper into the nose, you've got this midline bone here, and this is called the um, vomer bone. Okay, so you've got that. Um, let's see here, do we have any? Uh, so I think those are the major bones that you're going to need to be aware of. Um, oh, yes, oh, you've got some little bones right here, um, right in here called the lacrimal bones, and there's actually a little, uh, little duct there that releases tears, the lacrimal bones. Um, and then you've got what, what's called the orbit of the eye. And if you ever heard of somebody who has had an injury to the face and has had a, a fracture of the orbit, that's what they're talking about, the eye orbit um, right in here, which is, is not a bone necessarily, but it's a, it's a feature. Um, some other features that you need to be aware of, of course, is going to be the external um, auditory um, meatus or the external acoustic meatus, which is this right here, okay, so it's a large, it's a hole that communicates, and then within there you have um, three small, tiny bones involved in hearing, we'll talk about those in, a, in another video. Um, you also have what's called the styloid process, we'll get a little, you can see that little extension there, so you've got the styloid um, process there. You also have this bump here right next to the auditory uh, meatus or acoustic meatus, and this is called the mastoid process. Okay, so those are some of the major features that you can um, appreciate by looking at just the external anatomy of the skull. Uh, the last major feature that you'll want to know 
is going to be this large opening at the base of the skull where the spinal cord comes out, okay? And this is known as the foramen magnum, the big foramen, okay? Um, we'll talk about some more nuanced details in a subsequent video. Okay, guys, as always, thanks for hanging in there.